how do you find that balance of being mindful while being an athlete? A lot of it comes down to discipline. You okay. have to be disciplined. Like if you're committed to something and, and my diet changes, like if I'm, if I'm training for something, which I'm about to start training for something, the mindset, the fuel, it changes. Okay. It's important. I think that, but at the same time, like you have to, like whenever it comes to, you know, I say like holidays or birthday parties, like every year. We're going to have Thanksgiving. Every year, your birthday is going to come around. Your friends' birthdays are going to come around. Your kids' birthdays are going to come around. So it's like you can't just be like, oh, no, I'm not eating that. Yeah. Like nobody ever, like you can still have a slice of cake. Mm -hmm. You can still go out and be a badass athlete. Absolutely. Like you don't have to. I think like the more that you restrict yourself, again, it all it all goes into like, it all goes into the type of relationship that you have with food. And I think that that is really, really important. I, I think, think that's where you need to start is yes. analyzing that. Yes. Because a lot of people will take that and be like, oh, Thanksgiving's coming. I'll start on Monday. Right. And I feel like, and it's like after that, it's like, oh, Christmas is coming and all the the, the yummy sweets are coming. I'll start after the New Year. Yeah, I and think it's a okay. lot of you people make that. excuses. You can have that. Just exactly. have that moderation. Absolutely. Like don't go out and eat like a whole pumpkin pie. You know? Right. I like a slice. Right. I have a slice of like extra turkey because that's like the protein. Yeah, and it fills you up faster. And so I think a lot of it is just well, again. Do you count your balance. macros? I do. I do because but had, like are, see, I don't count my macros because I'm horrible at math. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just like Those that's are like what, that's why I have a, a macro tracker with me. I'm on my phone. So what do you do? Do you like type in your granola bar today when you were driving did. 90 well, miles an hour down the freeway? I mean, I didn't get pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think for me, because I struggle with binge eating and looking at something and just being like, fuck it, I'm going to eat it. You know, I get like that when I get stressed. I'm like, fuck, we're going to have we're going to have the cheeseburger and fries because why not? Because I'm stressed. For me, it's more of holding myself accountable when I track my macros and my calories. Um, what do you, what app do you use? Cause I've never, I've never tracked my Yeah. Macros, so I but. like my macros plus is really good and very easy to use. It's free. Um, if you use just like the basic, um, I'm also a creature of habit. So I generally, when I meal plan and I'm on track, I eat the same thing pretty much every single day. Um, when which, do you, when do you prep your meals? Um, it really depends. I can't do reheated meats since I've had kids for whatever reason. It just does. I does not agree with me. Um, but I will prep like my carbs before, like I have, I cook a big batch of rice and I just weigh it as I use it. Um, again, r kind of loosely, but I think that it helps me personally stay on track and know what I'm eating. That's the only reason I do it because if not, I will overeat like that. Yeah. And it's easy to do because I, I, you know, yeah, just America and our society in general, like exactly. we are so out of touch with yeah. what a serving. And one thing again with that, like peanut butter, take a tablespoon of peanut butter is what the serving size is. Oh, it also no, has, it also has the, the weight if you take what a serving by measurement and then by weight, it is drastically different. It's insane. If you, I think one serving is like 28 grams by weight. If you mm -hmm. weigh that, it doesn't equal a full tablespoon measure. So which is accurate? The weight by grams. Because if you actually weigh what you have in your tablespoon, it's probably like a serving and a half. And that's a good hundred calories extra that you yeah, don't like, realize you're eating. Yeah. So I think when you get down to it, but I also don't be super, don't also be super obsessive about it. Mm -hmm.